Ladies and gentlemen, a couple of weeks ago I made three videos ranking all the heroes within State of Survival and literally a week after my videos, State of Survival decided to switch it up all over again. So if we notice new skill updates in the coming days, we can officially say blame jump. I asked the Jumping Gorilla Discord server if they were interested in an update video and that's exactly what we are going to do today. Today's video is sponsored by Paxify. Paxify offers bundles 10 to 25% cheaper than you would pay in game. Paxify is my partner in crime when it comes to buying bundles. Thanks to them, I have been a strong player in game for almost a year now, and I have saved a lot of money using their services. Literally, half the state of survival community is already using Paxify, and players like Wacko Rush Gaming are using their services for quite some time now. If you don't believe me, just Let's take a look at these insane amount of testimonials from other players who have been using Paxify just like me. Are you worried about your account safety? Make sure to bind it to Fun Plus so you never lose access to your account. If you want to know more, make sure to check out the link in the description and someone from the Paxify team will contact you ASAP. Spots are limited, so schedule your onboard meeting today. Now on to the video, let's start with the riders first. So this one the ranking before the skill update. Unjo and Joker level 7 were S tier and absolute rider gods in state of survival. Unjo got a massive nerf. If you haven't seen my video on her, make sure to check out that video to see all the changes regarding Unjo. Now she is definitely no longer S tier. If you don't have a Joker level 4 or higher of course, Unjo is still a viable option until Gen 10. Gen 10 strings is better than Unjo, but before that there aren't many great options for Rider heroes in garrisoning. She is way worse than she was before, so I think a spot in the B tier is now a deserving place for Unjo. Three other Rider heroes that were tweaked were Candy, Travis and Gen 11's Buzz. Now Buzz got a slight upgrade but is still deserving of a spot in the F tier for me. Candy was terrible before and got a slight upgrade but she was never in the conversation to be honest. Travis got downgraded again so they all keep their spot in the F tier. Basel is still terrible and not even worth discussing. So on to our hunters. Gen 11 Scope got a buff and Sarge got a downgrade. I put Scope in the F tier last time around and that's still where he remains today. Now, after the first skill upgrade, Sarge was actually a pretty decent garrisoning hero. He got a pretty substantial downgrade this time around. But for now, he still remains one of the best options as hunter heroes in the first five generations until Roxy. Just as a reminder, this was our tier list before. So I think a spot in the C tier is deserved here now. Those are the only updates on hunter heroes. Now in the infantry category, some major things happened and I've already discussed a few things on the channel already. Nicola's skills got cut in half, Kyle got a slight upgrade, Wolfie became even worse than he was before and Ash got a substantial nerf as well. Last time around I put Nicola in the S tier and I have no other choice than to downgrade him. I think the B tier is fitting here. I put Ray in the B tier mostly for his price and the fact that Nicola was a cheaper option around. Now that Nicola got his major nerf, I feel like I should bump up Ray one spot to the A tier next to Magnus and Laura. I'm not sure if you guys care about my opinion on Wolfie, but I think he is in between the E and the F tier. Ash drops down a spot to the C tier. Here is a full overview of all T rankings of the infantry heroes, the rider heroes and the hunter heroes. I will share these in the Jumping Gorilla Discord server as well, so if you want to share those with your alliance, you can do it through that way. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. Thanks for watching and bye!